Hey Virgo, welcome back to another episode of your love life and maybe your finances. <laughs> we'll take a look. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like and subscribe button and personal reading link is in the description box below. Let's see what else is coming up here for you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Let's see what other messages for the rest of December are showing up here for Virgo. Okay, and one more. One more card for Virgo. Please, thank you. Air sign. Oh, the air sign is back, Virgo. What are you going to do? Okay, give it time. Everything in divine timing. Let this things whoops, flow. Okay. You also have intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscing. You have cycles, fate, karma, something ending, and something beginning. And air sign pretty self-explanatory gemini libra aquarius okay let's take a look and see individually what's going on what's this virgo need everything is everything in divine timing let things flow okay what do you need to give time to virgo let me move these over so you guys can see okay what does virgo need to it says give it time what is the it what is the it what does virgo need to give it time letting things flow oh aw beautiful making a beautiful connection with someone two of cups so mm. you know virgo if you are <clears throat> that person who's like when am i gonna meet my soulmate or when are we gonna get together it's coming virgo i feel like it's coming patience i know um someone's gonna come along there's gonna be a toast there's gonna be a toast i'm seeing a toast not a piece of toast <laughs> like a like a toast a wedding toast or uh, let's see you might be at a wedding going to a wedding you're like when's that gonna happen for me or maybe you're giving a toast at somebody's wedding trying to figure out okay some of you are gonna do that and it's like oh what am i gonna say just let things flow it'll come to you what you need to say i'm just hearing that and also let's see oh look at you that's you virgo pretty as a button yeah um you're single as a pringle virgo you want to meet someone this really is just pretty much this the the message is just be patient it'll come give it time it'll come for you definitely you'll come across somebody who will be a soulmate for you someone that you will be right for and will be right for you yeah in time you will have that happily ever after definitely it's coming so I feel like that message is pretty straightforward, you know, because um, I feel like Virgo, you're like, you know, I've already done all the work. I've done all the work. I've done everything I needed to do for myself. And now I'm just, where's my person? Yeah, well, just because you're ready doesn't mean the universe is ready to bring them. So just be patient. If you're working towards your goals, good. It's keeping you busy, getting yourself prepared to meet someone. And if you're already there and you've got yourself all set and you're ready to go, it's just a, just a matter of time. Let's see. Let me see. How much time? When will this, when will Virgo meet their person? Oh, for some of you, it's going to be on the 28th. December 28th, hoo-ha, hoo-ha. You're gonna connect with someone on the 28th. So if you have a date set up or planned, or maybe you will soon, you've also got intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscing. All right, let's see. Someone's thinking about you in a hot and heavy way, but the devil could be a Capricorn. Ooh, the chariot could be a Cancer. Ooh, look at you, Queen of Pentacles. It could be another Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. But you've got someone here who's on their way to you. Sleigh bells ring. Are you Somebody's coming in to slay you, Virgo. Yes, yes, yes. Um, someone is thinking about you, reminiscing about you. Definitely. And that chariot makes me feel like that. Well, that's just a card of travel movement, progress. Um, you do have someone here who's been thinking about you and like they're stuck in obsessive thinking obsessive thoughts about you 
Oh, death card. It could be a Scorpio. Um, you're going to hear from this person. Let's see. When is Virgo going to hear from this person? On, oh, the 12th. So you might have already heard from them. Um, oh, shit. Wait a minute. They just gave me the, the song on the 12th day of Christmas, my true love came to me. There you go. When's the 12th day of Christmas? Is that like now? <laughs> I don't even know. Like <laughs> when's that supposed to actually begin? You count back from the 25th, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, December 14th. <laughs> I don't know. Don't mind me. The 13th, the 14th, the 12th. I don't know this week. Okay, so maybe this weekend <laughs> for some of you. It's going to happen in the, the final two weeks, okay? I'll tell you right there. Someone's reminiscing and coming towards you or traveling towards you, coming to see you or spend some time with you. Um, intimacy, yes. They want to kiss you. They want to hug you. They want to they wanna cuddle. <laughs> they want to spin, Virgo. Okay, you have cycles. Fate, karma, something ending and something new is beginning. All right, what is this about? What new is beginning? Okay, you've got strength. Ooh, and you have the sun. That's double power. New power, new strength, new power. Ending out, getting rid of the weakness and having some kind of new start okay leo double leo energy for some of you let's see give us more information more information for virgo please back up on your feet again back up on the horse if you like this is like baby new year brand new year i just feel like you're getting your power back that could be actually some of you might have been lost power um, somehow you're listening to this. If you've lost power, your power will be back on this week. Um, but you're also gaining this momentum. Yeah, there you go. Knight of Wands. Gaining this momentum. Getting your sexy back. Absolutely. Things are going to start moving pretty quick. There's a new cycle. Um, is this Mercury Retrograde? I think we're in this already. Um, so people from the past are returning. Ooh la la, maybe it's an air sign, some of you. Okay, let's take a look. But th that's the overall message here is you're getting, you're bringing sexy back. <laughs> you Look, seriously, powerful, bringing your sexy back. Oh my, are you getting it back? Oh my God, I love it. Yes, you got this energy. Lustful, fiery, passionate, running, roaring to go, definitely. Okay, good for you. All right, let's take a look. What's going on with this air sign? Lord help. Okay, air sign has remorse. Air sign is regretful. Air sign is feeling down, feeling sad, can't seem to move on. Hmm, wants to bring things back into balance, is trying to maintain some equilibrium, not to get too down about something. Hmm, it's trying to, oops, trying to um, get out of a bad situation here. Um, I feel like it could be their thoughts and their emotions. Hmm, they think that you're like divine, like you guys will be together again. If this is someone that you dated, if it's not, it's just this air, this air sign is struggling. Um, they're trying to maintain and move forward, get out of a bad situation, either mentally or um, or, or relocate or move. They want, they're thinking about moving, but they feel sad about that. I'm hearing they don't want to, but they got to get themselves. I'm hearing, um, stable, like temperance is like, you know, um, become a bit more moderate. I feel like this person is kind of swinging this pendulum back and forth. They're, they're seeking stability. Yeah, but they have a lot of regret and remorse and sadness for maybe something, um, maybe leaving or wanting to leave or because they have to leave. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. 
That's more travel there, but that's good news arrives. Huh. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I don't know if this has anything to do with you, but this air sign is going to get be wealthy or going to have like extreme uh, not extreme but um maybe get an inheritance or they're going to have like good news is coming in for them about wealth and maybe something to do with a grandfather there's money or an elder there's money inheritance some kind of money coming to them this could have something to do with you um stability security and being with family okay or maybe it is with you wanting that or trying to have that but yeah that's very interesting I'm not really sure it's hard to pick up like how that has anything to do with you but I feel like it's a message for some reason that you need, need to hear but it, for some of you it is this person is they could be moving home or relocating um, back with some family members or um, gonna receive some money or be able to buy a home or get their own place I'm hearing Okay, very, very, very interesting. This is going to be a short read tonight, you guys. Tomorrow's the weekend and Christmas is coming. And like I said, I'm trying to get all the readings out to you guys every day. Although, like, my time is so crunched with the holidays. Let's take a look at... I was going to go right into the charts, but let me do the Chinese signs and see. We're going to look at you, your Chinese sign. Give you more clarity if this reading is for you. Yeah, even if you, your Chinese sun doesn't show up here, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. Okay, year of the pig. Double pig there. Year of the horse. Year of the rat. Year of the tiger. This could be you or the other another person here. Horse. Monkey. Dragon. Goat. And the snake. Okay, wow. That's fascinating. If you don't know your Chinese sign, all you have to do is just go type in the search bar. The year that you were born between, if you were born after, I think the Chinese New Year's in February. So if you were born February to February, like if you were born in say 1972 and you were born in January of 72, um, the January... 1972 Chinese sign is going to be different than the February and going forward 1972 so changes so just go ahead and and Google or wherever search wherever um, put the month and the year that you were born just so that you have it exact and uh, do read up about that it's pretty interesting I feel like they resonate the Chinese signs okay I know a lot of people are like this doesn't resonate for me at all well maybe I haven't you haven't lived up to it <laughs> That's what I like to say. Um, okay, hold on. Yeah, let's get into, see what some initials are here for you. Okay. Oh, somebody's telling you to go. They're saying go. So it's either go for it or just go. Okay, September 15th. Somebody is 55. September 4th. Okay, we have... So again, G, we have C, N as in Nancy, 1965, 1975, Nicholas, I just heard, Nick, um, we have the letter H, someone's 51, okay, the letter I, um, what's this, oh, that just came out, it's crazy, I wasn't going to pull a charm yet, but you have the Hamsa, it's protection, you guys are, like, duly protected. Very much so, you're protected. Okay. 46. Um, somebody's going to reach out, send you a message. To, they're just going to say hi. Nothing else. Just hi. Hi. Somebody lives in Hawaii. Okay. Hold on a minute. Let me see. I want to give you some birth dates. Whether that's yours. We have 1967... Whether it's your birth date or somebody else's. Um, I gotta find my. Oh, we also have August 28th is here. So is your birthday August 28th? I'm also seeing Sagittarius and Capricorn. Okay. And Gemini. And the letter P. 
Okay. So, somebody's birthday is May 9th. April 8th. May 9th again. That's crazy. Significant. Oh. Okay. September 13th. June 11th. Now, this could be you or um, someone you're connected to. Like, it, not, it could be you. I mean, it would be for you, but someone that you could either be connected to romantically or someone, a friend or someone significant. Okay. August 15th, April 11th, and keep getting May. Now we're getting May 7th and August 13th. And I can't believe I can't find my, my numbers are all gone here. All right, let's try one more. October 18th, September 22nd. And June 13th, September 12th. Did I already say that? Last one. October 23rd and February 17th. Okay, significant. So you have the Hamsa, like I said. There's a significance to um, that, that Hamsa. You might have that somewhere around you um, or just use it as a protection symbol, which is great. Let me see. Um, who's going to be showing up with the zodiac signs are going to be most prominent for you in December in this last few weeks. Leo, Capricorn, and Taurus, and also uh, Aries, Scorpio, and Cancer. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave that there for you. Like I said, it's short. Um, tomorrow's your weekend reading. I hope you enjoy that because that was a hell of a lot of fun to do, and it's pretty sexy. Um, go over to my OnlyFans, by the way, if you want to get the weekly readings. They're uncensored tarot. So whatever I can't say here, I can say over there. Not that I will. I'll try. <laughs> but, you know, you know how YouTube is. So, yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, do book a reading with me. The link is in the description box below. And yeah, have a great evening. I will see you all back here tomorrow. Love you. Bye.